Hi. Yep, we're on my MacBook again. I have no excuses this week, literally. The only excuse I tell you is that I leave in like two days. And I have no idea how I'm like packing and everything. My cameras just have to be charged so I could take them with me. And I could film videos while I'm out there. So, I'm sorry. Don't hate me that this is on my MacBook. But I'm going to try to make today's recap really exciting. Because this was a really good episode. And I was like, honestly, like in my head, like this week, I was like, I have to skip Thursday's episode. There's no way I could recap it. But it was so good that there's no way I'm skipping it. Got my notes. First of all, the episode starts off with something that I've been wanting off Vampire Diaries for a long time. Okay. Every episode of Vampire Diaries, I feel like it ends really good. And then the next episode, they pass moments. Like, it never goes back to where that ends. I was like, finally, they started where it ended. Like, it ended here, and they start the episode right where it should. So I was really excited about that. But it's so sad that Alina doesn't remember Damon. All Damon wants is him for her to remember, and he really feels sad for Damon. Like, like I said, I'm not Selena or Delena. And I honestly, like, I love Selena at one point, And I love Delena. Like, I love both. But it's just like at this moment, it's just I just feel so bad for Damon. Like I really want Elena to remember. Like I'm like I will personally volunteer to put her over the borderlines. And when Damon leaves, cause he's so sad that Elena's like I'm sorry, I don't remember you. Like all I remember is like you're a monster. He goes to the doctors and he just starts messing with everything that Rick is like connected to. And I just thought that was hilarious. Like trying to pretend to be a doctor and like playing with everything, like messing with him, like being super like just playful. And it was hilarious. So then we see that Trip was captured at the end of the day by Matt. Stefan and Enzo. So they all have him and they're all like trying to get out who his friends are. Like who's he's been like hanging around and stuff like that. We're just basically beating the cop out of poor trip. It didn't end good for him at the end, did it? So technically he ends up giving away everyone's name and then we like turned out that poor Caroline, yep, your mom's been kidnapped. Yep, your mom's been kidnapped by these like random guys and they're gonna shoot her if you guys don't give trip back. So they go over the borderlines and they do the trade. And when they're doing the trade, they're like, all right, now give us Forbes. They throw a trip over the borderlines. He's like, and Matt's like, are you okay? It's like, all of a sudden, like, all of a sudden you care. And he's like, I don't, I don't, ugh. And he just dies. And you're just like, you've done it again, Enzo. So Enzo changed him into a vampire before anyone could, like, know kind of like what happened with Ivy. So we're going to flash back to 1994, and what? Bon Bon is still alive. I was really worried about, like, the last episode. I thought we weren't just, like, that was it. We're not going to see her again. But this episode was, like, really good. Like, Bonnie really trying to make it back, and she did something that I'm so confused about, though. Like, I'm so confused. There's a lot that I want to talk about, like, them two in general, like, her and Kai. But, like, the first thing was that I wanted to quote something, and he said, he's like, How are you feeling? And she's like, like, you shot me with an arrow. <laughs> and I find a way back home, and she's like, well, you're the stylist. I don't know how you broke it, but I'm going to make it all together again, and we're going to go home. Bonnie's like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. So she, like, hurts him to, like, kill him, but, you know, they can't really die there. Then he takes the stylist thing above her and runs away with it into the hospital, which wouldn't the hospital be the last place I would go to? I feel like you would know that somebody, like, that's hurt would go to the hospital. So she's trying to make it all together, and she's trying to go, and then it's like, oh, yeah, you forgot about me, so I'm going to go with you. So then they're under the same little area where they're supposed to be. And what happens? Bonnie gives away all her magic to her magical little bear and sends him off to Mystic Falls. Yeah, I don't get it. Mrs. Cuddles is now a witch. Like, I honestly don't understand this. Because does that mean Bonnie's stuck there forever now? Like, did she really harness all her power and give it to the bear? Like, how are we going to get Bonnie back? Like, I would have honestly preferred Kai to come back. And now that the way that they're showing up, like, the fact that what... Kai and Joe are brother and sister. A bunch of you guys commented that on my recaps the last couple of weeks saying that they're sister and brother. That is so cool. You guys are so right. That is so awesome. But honestly, I feel like Kai's going to come back. There's no way he's not going to come back. Like him and Bonnie, you have to come back because he's going to be the villain this year. It's hilarious when Caroline's like thinking about Stefan, but she's trying to like forget the situation that she's thinking about. She puts the picture down and she like all of a sudden he's, there, he's like, that's weird. <laughs> so that was hilarious. So then we realize that thanks to Enzo, we all find out that Miss Caroline has feelings for Mr. Stefan. So it was hilarious because Enzo is jealous. You can kind of tell that Enzo's jealous because he kind of liked Caroline. But it was so obvious that he was jealous because he's like, can't you tell she has a thing for you? One of my favorite lines from Enzo this episode was when Caroline's like calling him. And she's like, my fingers were covered in blood. The touch screen wouldn't work. I thought that was hilarious. All of a sudden, Tyler's now a bartender and can't pour champagne correctly. That's all we saw of Tyler this episode. It was kind of lame. I didn't like it. I wanted more Tyler. It was literally like, I failed at pouring champagne and I'm gone now. Bye. 
But I did think it was hilarious when he was like, I'd rather cheat myself than wear this lame-ass tie. <laughs> Damon decides to crash the party, and he shows up, which is really awkward, because Lena's there with Liam, and Liam's on to her. She's on to her. He knows that there's something up with her, which I would have expected vampire hands off the bat, and I just would have just not been around Elena. I thought it was funny, like, Liam and Damon's confrontation was hilarious. Tell me what you're thinking right now or something. He's like, I'm thinking this is awkward and I could take you. And then Damon's like, confident, sexy. <laughs> Going back to the Caroline and Stefan thing, when Enzo, like, the actual quote that I wrote down was that Enzo said, she hates you because she doesn't hate you at all. And I just thought that was hilarious. Like, it was so, like, it's just that little bickering, like, a little love triangle going on there was just so bickering, like, so childish of Enzo, but it was just a smart way to saying it. It's just, like, the faces that Caroline makes are just so adorable, but it's, like, I don't even know. She's just, like, we won't speak of that again. <laughs> it's just hilarious going through memory lane she's trying to remember him you guys don't know like when elena kind of remembered stefan about things when he lost his memory so but in this one it's just not working out elena's like i'm so frustrated like i really want to remember you like if i really did love you i really want to remember so she does what i've been wanting them to do for the longest time just to throw her over that borderline for 2.2 seconds it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. like water's like coming out of like nowhere and she's like drowning but she flashes through like literally everything in 2.2 seconds i'm like do you have DVR, Elena? Do you have DVR? Can we rewind that and pause it and, like, slow speed it forward? The whole time I was like, Damon, all you have to do is just push over that borderline. Just do it for 2.2 seconds, but it's so cute because he's like, I wouldn't want to hurt you. Like, if you remember, you remember. If not, it's fine. And I'm so sad because that memory of, like, seeing the clips or whatever or the shooting stars, I don't remember what they saw. I'm, like, really delusional right now. It's literally 4 in the morning right now while I'm filming this. So, cute. But I just really love that scene at the end where they show it does. But it's just so sad because he's like, you were mad because it was raining and we went home. And which was a complete lie. Like, Damon, how can you do that? He's like, you deserve better than this. Like, you deserve better than me. If this is like your new life, you deserve it. I'm just like. <laughs> we talk about the elephant in the room. Like, Stefan is so delusional. He's like, why do you have a thing for me? Like, oh, I'm sorry. You're not hot. Like, do you not think you're hot? Because you're hot. I think everyone has a thing for you. Stefan's like, why do you have a thing for me? And then she's like. I don't. I don't have anything. Like, the way she, like, her facial expressions are just so adorable. So, about Joe, I want to talk a little bit about Joe. I feel like she's, like, the perfect person for her life. She's, like, the perfect mix of Aunt Jenna and Meredith Bell, like, mushed in one. Even though I miss Aunt Jenna so bad. And then we go to the finale of the episode, which is Damon is remembering the flashback. And then it's like, what? We're going to go see about all the family members. Are you thinking about Bonnie a little bit? And there's the bear! The bear made it to Mystic Falls, which is really confusing. Once again, I want to know what you guys think about that bear. Like, does it have the magical powers and all that with it? I don't, I don't know. But that is my question for you guys. What do you guys think about the bear being back? Does that mean Bonnie has no more magic? Or what? Because I'm really confused about that. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this recap. I'm so sorry that this was a hot mess on my webcam and it's literally 4 in the morning. I look like I'm falling asleep delusionally. I will be out of the country for the next couple of weeks, so those recaps will also be on my MacBook. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just, like, sit down and film with on my big camera, but I will try. But once again, if it is on my MacBook, do not murder me. But like I said, I will not stop doing Vampire Diaries recap. These are my, like, number one priorities to do for you guys. Because I know since I, like, started doing my makeup, things like that, you guys are just like, where are all your Vampire Diaries stuff? These are my priorities. This is why they're on webcam, because I want them out for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you guys like my recaps, and you guys still want me to keep making recaps. And just thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. Subscribe if you guys want to see more videos from me and more Vampire Diary recaps. And just thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below your guys' thoughts on the episode. And I need to sleep, because these bags under my eyes are not cute. <laughs> Bye, everyone.